It certainly is a very, very, very prime piece of real estate. Winnipeg leaders would love to make use of the long vacant Cap Young Barracks, but aren't banking on a solution coming through this week. We know that there's millions of dollars being um, flushed down the toilet that no one's benefiting from as a result of the land just sitting vacant. We know that there are homes sitting there that are not being utilized, that can be utilized. A First Nations leader raised hopes a deal between a group of First Nations and the federal government over the land could happen by the end of the week. The group's legal challenge claims the federal government failed to consult on its transfer of land the communities should have had access to. But council members said they have no confirmation a deal is near. So it certainly would be positive for everybody if the issue can be resolved, um, whether or not uh, they're actually at a point where they've come to an agreement is probably the big question. In the meantime, the city does have at least one preferred use for the area. The city has already taken steps for its preferred use of the land, which is to widen Keniston Boulevard from four to six lanes between Taylor and Ness Avenues. Of course, it would require the permission of whoever ends up owning the land. That would be, you know, a high priority item is to get Keniston widened and to, to have traffic move much quicker than it does move. Have expect stressed public consultation must occur before any work is done. Joanne Persega, Sun News.